What the dickens is going on? This unusual expression may well have been founded following English novelist Charles Dickens' first visit to the United States back in 1842. Dickens, who was just 30 at the time, was treated like a modern rock star, but the trip soon turned sour. Oliver Twist and the Pickwick Papers had already made him the most famous writer in the world. However, Dickens became incensed at how Americans were plagiarising his works. Americans were reading his works for free in pirated editions. Now, in 1842, there were no international copyright laws in America. Today, we would say the issue was over intellectual property rights. Dickens realised his popularity in the US could substantially increase his income if his American fans paid to read his works. I am the greatest loser alive by the present law, he complained. Dickens argued that a copyright law would also help American writers as well. However, the American press turned on Dickens, labelling him as a vulgar money grabber. The truth is, many countries, including the United States, have ignored intellectual property rights in the past. US patent attorney Steve Adkins reminded me, however, that when a nation sees the merit and value in new ideas and inventions, they seek to preserve them and pass laws accordingly. And this is true for China too, who only registered their first patent in 1985. Since that time, China has dominated the world in the number of patents, trademarks and industrial design filings. Now, in case you missed it, China is rapidly morphing from a copier of products to an innovator and leader and, of course, wants to protect its patents and trademarks. Aftermarket printer cartridges, for example, are not just illegal copies anymore. Yes, the illegal copies still exist. However, there are a large growing number of non-infringing, new-built cartridges being produced. Many companies now own their own intellectual property rights on their own cartridge designs that allegedly do not infringe. The printer OEMs must be wondering where the battle lines for market share are going to be fought in the future. So, what the dickens will happen next? This has been Just a Minute at rtmworld.com and I'm David Gibbons.